know, sometimes life can be really, really hard and it can be so difficult to manage everything. And then, you know, life just gets the better of us. Mm. We just feel done. We feel burnt out. According to the research, 88% of the workforce in the past two years has experienced burnout. And it is very likely that it is on the rise. So here are seven early indicators that you are on this road to burnout. Number one, you feel disconnected from the people around you. You see, when you don't give yourself the time, the space to rest, recover, then you can get very stressed out. And if the stress, whether it be from work, from family, from studies, whatever it is, if the stress appears for a long period of time, very often people can turn inwards and get very closed off, both physically and emotionally. This is quite a subtle thing to be aware of and very often we notice it perhaps maybe a little bit too late. So just be aware of how you're feeling and how you're engaging with the people in your life. Two, emotional exhaustion. Put simply, like you're quite reactive. Like you get angry quicker, you're quite irritable, like you get frustrated very easily. Like small things that wouldn't bother you in the past just all of a sudden just make you lash out. Also, when you're emotionally exhausted, you might also be a little bit cynical about the world. You might have a very warped perspective on how the world is. I'm king of the world! Burnout tends to make you see the worst in a lot of things. Number three, catastrophizing. Simply put, you make small things seem like really big things. Like this problem that used to be like just a little hill to you is now all of a sudden a massive mountain that you have to now conquer. It's like one tiny little thing, like one additional thing that gets added on to your already full plate is like the worst thing ever. And it's like, oh man, like you just end up catastrophizing the situation. Like everything is a big deal. Number four, you lack joy. Now you might've heard this and you might be like, bro, I like joy in everyday life. And that might be because you're a sad and lonely person. And if that's the case, then I would encourage you to make some friends, right? Make some nice, good friends that will be in your corner and cheer you on, right, and support you. But also on another serious note, it's worthwhile noting that this might also be an indication of like other mental health conditions like depression and all that. Now, don't be scared. Yeah, like don't be too stressed out about that, but it's just worthwhile noting. So if you need to go see a doctor, go see a doctor and go get yourself checked out. Number five, procrastination. I know we're experts at this. You know what you should be doing, but you just don't do it. You leave it to last minute. Like, you know you need to go to work. You know you have all this homework to do. You know that you need to study, but you just don't do it. Like you just, for whatever reason, you just cannot take the next step. And like, I get it, it's hard. It's hard to do things. You might look at a task and you might just catastrophize it, make it a bigger deal than it is. And then so you delay, 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 you procrastinate until it becomes a task that is now important and urgent. And so it has to get done. I want you to be very aware of where this feeling of procrastination is stemming from. Is it stemming from the fact that, you know, you've just got too much on your plate and so this is being left to last minute or two, like it's a personal trait of yours that like you're just someone that just leaves things to last minute, not because you have a feeling like you need to or anything or three, is it actually that feeling that I can't be bothered, like I don't have the energy, there's just this something inside of me, this apathy that's inside of me that's just not letting me take that next step. Number six, lack of self-care. You don't prioritize you. You don't prioritize this being, this mind, this body, this being. You don't prioritize any of it. This is a good indication that you're leading towards burnout. Like you're not eating properly, you're not sleeping properly, you're not drinking properly, you're not exercising properly. And you know what's funny about this is that when you do all these things, you feel worse about yourself. Like if you eat junk food, like you're not exercising, you're gaining weight, right? You're having random sleeping patterns. You just feel really bad about yourself. And because you feel bad about yourself, you continue to do these things. You eat worse food or you continue eating junk food. You, you continue not sleeping well. Like you just continue doing all these things. And so it's not even a cycle. Like it's not even a cycle anymore. It's just, it's like a, actually it is a cycle. Yeah, it is a cycle. It's just a cycle that's just going downhill. Right? It's not staying in the same place. It's just continuously going down. And number seven, the last one, you lack energy. You just don't have the energy to hang out with friends, family, your partner. You just don't have the energy to do it. You know, play with your kids 
or just go for a walk, hang out with your dog. Like you just don't have the energy to do it. Like that's a really big indicator that, man, life got the better of you and it's hard to manage what you're going through. Now you may have some of these signs, you might have one of them, you might have none of them, you might have completely different signs, right? And if that's the case, let me know. But more importantly, I'm not gonna leave you here, yeah? Like, I'm not gonna tell you all these signs and then have you think, oh crap, man, he exposed me big time. I am not just one, I am all of these things. I don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you there. I'm not gonna leave you there, don't worry. I actually made a video, right, over here. If you wanna check this out, it'd be super helpful. It's just gonna go through a few things that you can do just to make sure that you're looking after yourself and you can recover and prevent burnout from happening. So make sure you go and check this out. And with that all said and done, I hope you have a great day, week, weekend, wherever you are, whenever you are watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Catch you later, my friends. Good night.